significant day. Well, you know what? It's a life-saving day. That's why it's so significant. I mean, I believe that millions of babies are going to be saved throughout the state, but not only that, millions of women will be saved, millions of families will be saved from the detriment of abortion as a result of these historic laws. And they're really common sense laws, but we're excited about uh, a legislature, a, a governor, you know, a, um, a group of people that would go ahead and do what needs to be done to protect our, our commonwealth, women and babies. Yeah. Well, you know, we have a governor that stands uh, wholeheartedly behind women and babies and the sanctity of life and the sanctity of family, and, and we just applaud that. Uh, it's really an answer to prayer. Uh, the governor is an answer to prayer. Uh, we need people that care about all people. Um, even with the uh, preborn babies being in the womb, we need people that recognize that those civil rights are valuable as well. And, you know, being that it's Black History Month, I think about the civil rights of the preborn babies as well. Well, for Sisters for Life, what's next for us is to continue to make sure that we serve women and men, you know, families, and let them know that there are other choices that they can make and that we're going to be here to serve them and help educate them about the detriment of abortion, but also educate them about the help that is available in the community. Uh, the other day, so the interview, I'm going to shift a little bit. Okay. The interview you did with Richard, before the yes. end, you were talking about things mm -hmm. being manifested. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you were meeting laws like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you, at the end, you referenced there were some things to come, some mm -hmm. other manifestations. Yeah. Well, well, what are the things that we need to see manifested in the state of Kentucky? And when I say manifested, that actual laws will be passed, is that we need to defund Planned Parenthood. We don't need any of our taxpayer dollars in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, and, and for the country for that matter, to be going to an organization that is killing uh, babies and also that is also selling babies' body parts. We don't want our citizens of Kentucky to be uh, complicit to, to things that we know that are against our value system and we know that's not right, and preborn babies is, is, is key. There is no greater right than the right to life. Um, one of the, the, there's a bill coming about to defund Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. Folks are going to say that that is anti-woman. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say to them? Well, I would say that there couldn't be anything further from the truth. Uh, to defund Planned Parenthood, an organization that uh, kills innocent lives, and also, in addition to that, targets minorities, African Americans in particular, uh, that could not be further from the truth that that is anti-woman. When you talk about an organization that doesn't really care whether you uh, live <laughs> or die, but that they get your money and they take the life of that baby, uh, to support them is really what I call anti-woman, anti-life, period.